Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Carmen. And I'm Cassie. Today we're doing a Nano Speedy review. So if you haven't seen our other video, we did do an unboxing on this bag a couple of videos ago. I'll link it down in the description box below if you want to have a look at that. But today we'll be going through all the details about this bag, what we think about it, and whether we recommend this little guy. <laughs> we'll also be showing you guys what it fits, mm -hmm. how to show the strap sits on us and we'll also model the bag for you so keep on watching so if you are interested in knowing how we got these two bags then please do watch our unboxing video we do go through the details in that video this bag it costed us $1,590. Yeah. So as you guys know, the Speedy from Louis Vuitton is a very iconic bag. Iconic for the Speedy 25, the Speedy mm -hmm. 30, the Speedy B Bandolier, and now the Speedy Nano. So this one is, I want to say it's new, but it's more recent. Yeah, than... it is the most recent mm. version and also the newest size in the Speedy. So before the 25 was the smallest and now the Nano is the smallest. the smallest. And it's just such a cute bag. To be honest, I used to have the Speedy 30 mm. and I don't know why I thought that was a so good size big. for me, but it's now way too big mm. in my opinion. Even and the Speedy 25 I find is a bit big for us yeah. now. Yeah, um. I never owned a 25, but I did want to get it at one stage, but now I'm really glad that I got the Nano because I think it fits everything we need. Yeah. Like, it fits a ton for how small this bag is. Like, yeah. if you just look at it, it's tiny, <laughs> but it's honestly just like a bottomless pit. Like, if you open it up, there's nothing, like no compartments or anything, just one giant hole to chuck all your belongings in. I guess we'll go through what it fits. Yeah. The biggest shock for us was this mini pochette actually fits yeah. inside the Speedy Nano. Like, look at that. That's crazy. It looks about the same size as this bag. So this is around 16 centimeters wide and it fits the mini pochette along with a ton of other stuff. So it also fits the pouch yeah, yeah. um our and phone which is yeah phone iphone x 10s yeah. yep and also lip balm and hand sanitizer yeah literally a whole bunch of yeah. stuff yeah you you could honestly probably put like an organizer in it if you really wanted to make it a little bit more compartmentalized yeah. yeah. and also it will help to keep the structure of this bag too. I think we're both looking to get a, mm. a base holder and a bag organizer for this because we do want it to keep its shape yeah. and bag organizers if you watch a lot of other videos are the perfect way to do that. In terms of wear and tear, wear and tear. Yeah. Um, so far it's still like kind of kept its color the straps because they are fashetta leather they haven't darkened or anything but the sales assistant actually told me that this particular bag darkens really quickly Ooh. so i'm looking forward to that mm. because i do prefer when it's yeah. a little bit darker in yeah. color um but so far there's um no wear i don't really see any wear mm. to it um, i think they might start to show a bit of wear in the corners because there's nothing there to really yeah. protect it. Because it's canvas, it's so really durable. durable. I never use my Vachetta leather bags in the rain no. because I don't want to stain it. Yeah. Some people have chosen to use like spray protectors on their straps and stuff. Um, we haven't personally no. done that. In terms of the strap, this was my biggest concern before purchasing the bag because obviously the strap is not detachable. On us, the lengthwise, it actually sits quite well on us. It's 63 centimeters, so it fits really well crossbody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on the shoulder too, it yeah. looks alright, yeah. So I guess if you're a little bit shorter than that, it mm. might be a bit long on you. But for us, it sits perfectly. One of the other issues that we had with this bag, not after wear, but just when we first got it, we noticed that these little screws with the LV imprint on it are actually not aligned. They're not straight. And that kind of bothered me a little bit. Well, especially because it's spending you? Yeah. so much on a bag. Like, I'm not even kidding, all screws on Mine as well. both sides, they are not straight. And I've watched reviews and it is... Known problems. Yeah, so mm. 
Yeah. I don't understand why they did that, but it's not aligned at all. I mean, I think if we really wanted to, we could have probably asked for another one, but I don't if think, both yeah. of ours are like that, it's likely to be the same for every other bag too. Like, you're not going to be able to find one that's perfectly aligned. I mean, it which annoys me. Yeah, it annoys yeah. me, but I wouldn't sell it just because of that. Yeah, yeah. It's such a cute I bag. mean, it was so hard to get to, so mm -hmm. I think... I will be able to live with it and plus <laughs> <laughs> when I wear it you don't really see yeah, it like the handles it. cover it so honestly it doesn't bother me too much it's just quality control is something yeah. that I think isn't as good as Louis Vuitton in the past mm. with their older bags so yeah aside from that it's really good and there's no big issues with this bag so this is our review of the bag. Um, we'll also be doing comparison videos with this and the Speedy 25 and the Palm Spring Mini. So subscribe to our channel if you're interested and we'll see you in our next one.